Right, another update on this Sony 6800. I've actually removed and replaced, I think, 14 transistors in this thing. Um, I've had to remove all the sardine cans, as I explained, and uh, track down all the transistors in the synthesizer. Don't normally do block changes, but in this case, I'll show you why it was necessary. Um, I have my trusty old multimeter here. We'll put it on transistor gain test HFE. Um, let's check a few of these transistors here. bit hard to get into the socket because they're slightly damaged well not damaged but the, the, the leads have been had solder on them now because they've been taken out of the radio and a bit difficult to get into the transistor to socket but bear with me here bear with me here Okay, this there's one twenty-five. Let's put in a um, the the transistors I replaced it with. I just used generic. Uh, what the hell are they? Uh, three three nine o oh fours are they? Three nine o oh fours will do. And. Uh, I'll show you what the gain one of those looks like. Here we go, HFE 432. Um, as you can see, there's, <laughs> there's quite a bit of difference there. Um, this is just a rough estimate of, of gain. Um, ideally, you'd use transistor curves, but this is suffice to say, a quick test, that there is one huge discrepancy. That one's 50. Huge discrepancy on the gains of these things. And I do have a theory about this. I think. Hang on, get that one in there. Give me a little bugger. There's another. There's a 51. Um, according to the the worldwide bloody internet I won't do that one, it's too damaged here's another one according to the internet these here are supposed to have a minimum of 90 that one there is ok presumably ok um, let's have a look at that one there It's crazy how how they've, they've degenerated over the years. That one's 107. See, if they was all like that, I wouldn't have needed to fix this damn thing. But obviously, it does say a bit for Sony's design because, uh, you know, these transistors certainly degenerated like more than 50%. Look at that one. 18. Gain of 18. Um, yeah, these transistors have degenerated more than 50%. In fact, that 18 is, is bloody near 90% of what it should be. And yet the radio was actually, even though it wasn't working, That one's totally dead. I can't, oh no, there we go. That one's a 27. So yes, all these transistors are low and going to the point where they're totally unreliable to be using them. 
what what I think's hap happened here, like manufacturers don't make dud transistors. That one's 85. Um, so see, we're, we've got lowest of 18, the highest of about 105. So um, yeah, the hell of a difference there. What I think happens is that the the whatever they've used to, to package these transistors has poisoned, over time has poisoned the silicon wafer. That, that's my theory of, of what's happened. So, um, so that's basically what I've done here. I've, uh, I've checked pretty much everything as I've gone. I pulled it out of its chassis. I, I, I just got sick and tired of fighting with the damn thing in the end. So, um, as you can see, the synthesizer is locking up beautifully. Fully tunable. I'm just tuning the. It's the kilohertz tuning. And the way Sony have done the synthesizer, we've got one meg steps here. 15, 16, 17, 18.5. That's the one megahertz steps. We then got decade steps. Is we've got a wee problem on the low band where it's not quite locking at the top end of the band. That could be adjustment, but um, I've got to investigate that. But it's not it's, it's no good if it won't lock. But this is a decade switch, and we can go from 21, 5, 22, 23, 5, all the way up through to 29.5 megs, and we tune the rest of the way with a kilohertz. Seven. See that? It loses lock. It loses lock at the top end of the bend. And now it's locked again. So this here, uh, I've yet to get into the um, the AM module, which is this, this box here. Because um, this uses, for the kilohertz interpolation oscillator, it actually uses, very clever, it uses the AM oscillator. And there is a buffer transistor in there, which is also one of those shitty. Oh, God, I keep forgetting the name. It's a uh, 2SC930. So there's probably a couple of them in there. I haven't had a look in there yet. Um, but um, we've still got a few to replace. Uh, I've got the <clears throat> the driver chain for the frequency counter which are down in that box there I think, yes, that one got those two to replace, all those counters working fine um, there's also a I don't know what that one is, oh it's a 10 meg crystal oscillator that does appear to be working so yeah basically that, that, that we're pretty much ready to just that one final problem tidy, tidy up my work and put it back in its case but no I'm happy with that even though I haven't used a signal on it yet because as I say I haven't got the pre-select front end connected to anything but um, there, there, there is circuit hiss coming out of the speaker on shortwave so um, yeah I'm confident this, this will run um, but, um, yeah, it's just, uh, And we've got everything. So as I say, the, the FM is a, a totally different entity. The FM is a totally different entity. Um, it's basically a receiver all on its own. It uses the chip over here for an IF and then dumps it straight into the audio amplifier. So 99% of this circuitry is not used for FM or indeed AM broadcast. All this, all this is synthesizer, and it's pretty damn clever, even if I do say so myself. Pretty awesome. 
these are the marks here I've hit the mark what coil is associated to what tuning cap and which band it is band one two and three that's that's this um interpolation thing here which is another switch but yeah it's, it's pretty amazing design that there's the uh, phase or one of the phase detectors it's got one oscillator which uh, jumps in one meg steps he uses a mixer arrangement to shift it by 10 megs three times for band A, B and C. Uh, this one I think covers 27 to 37 megs which is the 1 meg steps within a 10 meg segment and then we've got these three oscillators hidden down in there which are in turn selected by that three position switch which then pretty much just adds 10 megs to, to each band to, to give us the three 10 meg segments if you can understand all that it's actually not that hard to understand if you sit down with the circuit diagram which I remember doing once um, but yeah it's the, the shitty way these manufacturers bias transistors Pretty much any transistor will work in this except for the fact that they use the one resistor biasing system which for a thing like an emitter follower is doomed to fail you really should have a potentiometer or voltage divider on the base of a emitter follower in order to get a known voltage at the emitter um, and the same with the CMOS switching transistors or driver transistors to a CMOS gate you know, they basically have to have their collective voltage sitting at exactly half supply rail. So if you're using 5 volts on CMOS, you, you need the collector being direct coupled to a gate. It has to be sitting at about 2.5 volts. So it can switch or move up and down from that centre point to get the most efficient switching. By using this one resistor from collector down to base to bias the damn thing, it's relying totally on the current gain of the transistor and um, that is not a good way of doing it but in a reasonably complex thing like this I suppose you're going to save probably 20, tra uh, 20 resistors which um, yeah, I suppose in the world of Sony which makes thousands and thousands of radios that's uh, it's quite a bit of money I suppose it doesn't make servicing easy but um, fortunately the, the 3904 transistors are virtually the same thing as what Sony used so um, they're probably slightly better in fact despite the fact they're audio transistors well I don't know whether they're, uh, they're general purpose transistors normally means they're audio HF even lowly DC547 I think it's got an FT of about 300 megahertz so you know and I have made super regions with those in VHF so yeah they oscillate quite happily up, up VHF ok I'll, uh, I'll now track down that one last problem and hopefully I can get this thing back together in its case <laughs>